She's one of the most famous puppets of all time. What do you remember about Lamb Chop? Earlier, we spoke with Mallory Lewis, the daughter of Sherry Lewis, the woman who invented the beloved puppet. But before that interview, let's take a trip down memory lane. In a field dominated by men, Sherry Lewis chose to be a ventriloquist, earning a spot on the popular children's show, Captain Kangaroo. Mom um, had these two big dummies, Taffy Twinkle and Samson something or other. And the Captain Kangaroo show called and said, we love you, we hate your dummies. What do you have? That's when Lamb Chop was born. Am I gonna be in these movies? Well, ah, oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> People have a lot of misconceptions about my mom. They think she was a nice little lady who played with puppets. No. She was a badass businesswoman. In 1960, Sherry was given her own show, replacing the iconic Howdy Doody show. Lamb Chop, Hush Puppy, and Charlie Horse were regulars. On Comet, on Cupid. Hi, Santa. I say Cupid, not stupid. <laughs> In 1992, the lovable duo goes back to the small screen. Someone once, when she was pitching Lamb Chop's play along, said to her, um, well, it's a great idea for a show, but what's to stop me from doing it without you? And mom looked at the person and said, do not mistake me for Lamb Chop. Yankee Doodle into town. Sherry unexpectedly passed away in 1998. She was just 65 years old. When mom passed, I was getting emails saying, is Lamb Chop dead too? And I couldn't let that answer be yes. So, so she slipped on the makeup and here I am. <laughs> this is iconic. Sherry's daughter now tours with Lamb Chop and she's written a book about the iconic puppet and her famous mom. Please welcome Mallory Lewis to the show. Yes. So, you know, um, Mallory tours with me. I don't tour with her because I'm the star. Oh. Oh. Wait a second. Okay, you have the voice down pat? Like, that was insane. Wow. Like, what, do you, what do you mean she has the voice down pat? She has nothing to do with this. Ignore the woman sitting behind me. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lamb Chub, do you... Or Mallory, I don't know who I'm and talking to. Anyone can answer this question. Do you have a favorite lamb chop memory with your mother? It would be lamb chop's uh, mother too, I guess. I do. I do. Let me let me do this one. Um, <laughs> I remember when I was six years old, and uh, mom used to bring lamb chop into my room occasionally, and I would talk to lamb chop before bedtime. And one time, I I guess I committed some crime, like losing my sweater in school. I mean, what does a six-year-old really do? <laughs> and I told lamb chop. And I never tattled on her to Sherry. Oh, <laughs> that's so nice. You know, so to keep a secret. Yeah, love lamb chop I is mean, not a rat. No, no, no. But no, it's a lamb. lamb. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was so good. Uh, I have to ask you, Mallory, and also lamb chop. I guess, what did it feel like to put on the iconic lamb chop the first time? That is a lot of yes. responsibility of children's dreams and hopes. What did you feel? Well, uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, let Lamb Chop disappear for a little bit so I can answer this Thank without you. hurting her feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Lamb Chop. Bye, Lamb Chop. Uh, the first time I put on Lamb Chop, it was so interesting. I had spent, I was pregnant when my mom passed. Oh. And I had spent the last, I don't know, 18 months accepting posthumous awards. And my then husband made a very good observation. And he said, you know, we can't make a living with you accepting posthumous awards. So I went to an award event that was hosted by Pat Croft, who wrote all the police academies. And I put Lamb Chop in the podium. And then when it was time to accept the award, I came out and pulled Lamb Chop out. And she said, Sherry would be so proud. I loved the wild applause. And so I thought, I can do this. Wow. wow, you're carrying on such a legacy. You changed television, Thanks. children's television. So what is it like carrying on the legacy of Lamb Chop? What does that mean to you? Well, it's really wonderful because mom is so beloved by so many people. When I tour, I start my show by saying, I know all of you really wish you could be at a show 
with Sherry Lewis and Lamb Chop. I go, so do I. It's okay. Whichever Sherry you remember, whether it's the curls, whether it's the ponytail, whether it's the bob, the shag, whatever hairstyle is your Sherry, she will be at this show. And Lamb Chop and I do about half the show. Um, and then I curate stories about mom and I show videos. Aww. And afterwards, I stand in a really long line and people come up and they hug me and they say, thank you. Your mommy would be so proud. Mom meant so much to so many generations. I just look at your mom in a day and age of television yeah. where women were seen a very specific way and your mom completely knocked down those Especially like, in that field of right. ventriloquism, she was the pioneer. Oh, I know, women. but I don't think she realized well, it or maybe you know, she did. Part of the reason I wrote the book is that uh, people always think they knew who my mother was. She was the nice little lady who played with puppets. Well, okay, that was one part of who my mother was, but she was a wife, she was a mother, she was an activist, she yep. was an adventurer, she was a friend. And I think in our society, we tend to believe that we know everything about a celebrity and basically you put them in a teeny tiny box mm. and it does no, it, it doesn't benefit them and it doesn't benefit the fans. Wow, well said. Yeah. That's why you got to pick up the book, right? And let me just say too, The Ford is by David Copperfield. How cool is that? Wow. So everybody, yes. make sure you pick up the book, the team that changed children's television. You can also visit the website, uh, Mallory Lewis and lambchop.com. Thank you so much, Mallory. Can we say goodbye to Lamb Chop, please? Yeah. Oh, please, yeah. please, please Take it, Sam. And they'll continue singing at the other just because this. Thank you, Mallory. It was a it was everyone, thank you. That was great. We'll be right back. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.